Hey everyone, here's part two of that video where you can learn how to draw a snail with the letter A. I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, we're gonna do the snail next. And to start that one off, we're gonna start with the lowercase letter A. All right. And next we are going to be drawing a spiral shape inside of the letter A. Doesn't matter if you want your spiral to be going this direction or if you want it to go the opposite direction, really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you want your spiral to start from the top, the bottom, the side, it really does not matter. Just do a spiral somewhere. Okay. Next, we are going to draw a line, a straight line, starting from the bottom stem of the A. We're gonna to go to the left and then curl back around and um, end about here on this part of the A. You can make it as long as you want, honestly, for how long you want it to go. I thought that that was long enough. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, you are going to start again from here. You are going to draw a line that is now gonna go to the right, straight out to the right, then it will curve up, go inward, and then back outward. So it's gonna go out, up, curve in, curve out. Around, up, curve in, curve out. Okay, now from here, we're gonna go from this part of the A, we're gonna try to mimic, do, um, try to copy the symmetry. If this pencil is the line of symmetry, we're gonna try to copy um, what this line is doing over there. So we're gonna try to go out to kind of copy how that line is going out there. So, and it's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna go kind of out that way. There we go, whoops. Oh well. Made a little mistake there, but I'll just go over that with Sharpie later. Okay, so now that we've got this going on, we're gonna draw kind of like a U shape, a really wide U shape actually, um, in between these two diagonal lines. Like so. Next thing we're gonna do, we are going to draw circles on the tops here. These are going to be the eyeballs. Your snail eyeballs. All right. Um, now, if you want both of your snails to have their eyes open, you're gonna draw circles in both of them. If you want to, let's see what would happen if I draw a line. Go ahead and color that one in. Um, let's see what would happen if I drew a line there, because then it might look like my snail is winking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna have my snail be winking. Um, and then I'm gonna draw two lines down here for the mouth, and also a little line for the, the second line will be for the chin. In my original drawing, you can see I kind of made the mouth go up, so it looks like my snail is smiling. But if you want to have your snail look like it's frowning, I'll do that. I'll do that on this one instead of, well, I'll show you both ways, actually. If you wanted to make it look like he's smiling, you're gonna do it like that. But if you wanna make it look like your snail is frowning, then you're gonna make your curvy line go the opposite way. It'll be more like a rainbow shape. I'm gonna have an upset snail. Oh, why is he upset? Probably because he got poked in the eye. All right, and then for the line for the chin, I'm gonna mimic what this line is doing here and just kind of do a mini one. That just kind of shows his chin. And then that is it, my friends. You can, if you want to, I thought you could add um, a little faint line over here, two parallel lines, um, to show kind of like it's ick or it's slime that's trailing behind it. Um, if you want, you can add little lines of grass, something like that. Little um, kind of ovally shapes or oblong shapes to show maybe pebbles if it's outside. Um, whatever you want to do, but that is how you do the snail. Now I'm going to go ahead and color it. Probably going to make it different than I did in the original photo, kind of like I did with the dog. So here we go.